what in the group jim brown hell is going on cartel crew y'all got a lot going on if this has if this is any inkling of what the hell is about to go on for season three i'm definitely here for it but i'm not here for it i did not know that there was so much going on i normally don't pay attention like when seasons are off to stuff but girl this is a lot going on right now okay so let me tell y'all hold up so i normally don't really do like gossip or bloggy type stuff um but you know if it has something to do with the show that i'm watching I i'll come on here and i'll talk about it so i did a, uh, a video maybe like a week or two ago maybe a week ago about how antonio brown was going out with stephanie from you know cartel group and i had got a little bit of tea a little bit of tea from one of my subscribers you know that everything wasn't so great in paradise also just to let y'all know if y'all ever want to drop like little tidbits or a little bit of tea here and there y'all can always dm me I will leave all my information. You can either email me or DM me. I will I'm, I will never, ever, 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 ever let anybody know who told me what. Like, I'm not going to do that. Point one, period. Um, but I'll leave all of that in what Brian B. would call the underneath of all. So the underneath of all, underneath of all. But regardless. And, you know, the tea I received from this person was pretty much saying, you know, well, you know, I guess, you know, they heard that, you know, that there was some infidelity going on there. But, you know, they was back on Instagram. I was confused because when I went on Instagram, you know, they was all cuddled up and booed up and stuff. But let me tell y'all, Chelsea, which is Antonio Brown's baby mama slash ex-girlfriend. If y'all don't know, they've been having this very tumultuous breakup, you know, for the past few weeks. He threw the girl out, out the house, gave her eviction notice. And then it just came out the other day that within the paternity suit, mind you, they have a paternity suit that's going on right now that there's allegedly allegedly there was some domestic violence involved but let me tell y'all so chelsea has been out here and i was supposed to do this video like earlier today but when i'm telling you my good sis chelsea has been on a roll that i haven't even chelsea and everybody else from the cartel crew have just been y'all been on a roll today like everybody in the past couple days have been have been saying they treats but let me get to y'all because i'm gonna have some screenshots that i'm gonna post up here of some of the stuff that's going on all right so let me tell you so chelsea chelsea's not playing yesterday somebody put up and said i'm sorry y'all i have no but i'm gonna put the screenshot up it says um a b a fool for leaving this love cte has been in the spotlight for the wrong reasons you better off without him at chelsea much live and respect to you hold it down girl so chelsea writes back and says lol he already came running back downing his new girl which is stephanie saying she wasn't shit but you don't accept no 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 saying she wasn't shit but when you don't accept the apology and tell him you don't want and tell him you don't want to come home he has no choice but to run back to her we are all doing we are doing better than ever so my good sis said that he wanted that old thing back that he was calling her and stephanie that you're just kind of there just to be there girl but he was knocking or he was ringing her bell ring her bell like she was ringing his bell i mean you know i mean her bell so then i go on to chelsea's um you know instagram or whatever and i see that she put up this picture right here saying that she had so she had a similar conversation with her ex yesterday then let's keep going let's keep going so that was yesterday right that was yesterday so then today you know i'm just scrolling 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 i see stephanie put up some pictures i'm scrolling and massive people is at in chelsea in this you know in this thing or whatever i'm gonna put up some of them um this person is like why are you chatting about this new person um this is the one that got me sorry y'all this is the one that got me because they said okay at Chelsea, why you and his new girl comments chatting about him? You knew it you knew what it was when you kept staying with him for the kids. Even if he didn't want you back, he's still gonna cheat and do you dirty with no ring, so you wasting your time. Chelsea said, You keep adding me so I got time today, which that's funny. But she said, No ring. I'm pretty sure he asked me just yesterday morning via text to come home and get married. But all I could do was laugh at that one. You guys know very little about the entire situation. So Chelsea, I'm telling you right now, we need to see the text messages and I'm gonna do my Chelsea, somebody send Chelsea this video or tell her about me. Chelsea, the platform is yours. Stephanie, the platform is yours. If any one of y'all want to get y'all 
feelings out, I am here. My platform is you guys. It's, okay? It, it's yours. It's all yours. But Chelsea, if that's the case, I need receipts. We need receipts of these text messages. If it was a text, I need these fucking receipts. Please let me see these receipts. But outside of that, Chelsea has been, you know, she 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 been on here. I'm gonna post some of these, some of these, you know, of her going back and forth. Um, it seems after he broke up with you, he spent some more time with that chick than he does with his kids. Mind you, all of these comments are underneath Stephanie's picture. This is all on Stephanie's page underneath her picture. And all of these, when it says two hours ago, that's not a lot. That was literally two hours ago from right where I am right now. It's 4.58, 3, 4.53 p.m., okay? And Chelsea, like, it's not healthy for the kids to be around that mess anyway right now. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else we got? Um, let them be happy. I'm good on my end. Trust me. Um, what else? What else? What else we got? What else we got? Um, you know, they asking him why is he doing what he doing as far as his football career. Let him tell you that story. But all of that to say, this is some messy ass shit. And you know, Stephanie, as mad as I was at you for how you handled, you know, the whole dealing with Eddie and stuff like that and how you so tight against men. This is the type of man, in my opinion, from everything that I've seen, this is the type of man that you don't want to be around. He has enough negativity and enough toxic shit going on around him. And I don't, to the, to the bottom of me, I don't understand why you, why you would want to put yourself in the midst of a K of a storm. Now, Stephanie, if your whole thing in the back of your head is I'm playing the game and I'm just going to get what I can get from him and then move, then cool. But if you're, I really, truly hope you're not taking this shit seriously. I really, really do. I really hope you're not taking this man that seriously. I really hope you're just having your fun and you're going about your day because this, this is not it. Even if that's not true, that uh, that he sent Chelsea all of that, why would you want to be messed? Why would you want to mess with a man who who is in the midst of all of the stuff that he's going through? That is ridiculous. You have your own stuff that you need to worry about. Like, for real, Stephanie, get it together. This better be, Stephanie, I swear, you are. You look like you're a very smart girl. I really hope that you know that this is just a, I hope this is just a one-off thing for you. I hope you're not taking this shit seriously. I really, really do, because you do not need to be mixed in with this nonsense. And as far as Chelsea is concerned, Chelsea girl, if you really that unbothered, then, like I said, stay out of the girl's comments and stuff like that. And just do you, baby girl. Do you. But at the same time, I really would like to see those receipts. I really would like to see the receipts of the text messages. Because maybe that'll show Stephanie, girl, you need to just pack your stuff and leave. And Stephanie, you're in the same house that he put her out of. Not to say it's not, you know, his house. But I'm just saying. You think he won't put you out if he get down to that? I mean, do you think he won't put you out if it really get down to that? And that's the mother of his kids. Like I keep telling people, the way that a man treats the mother of his kids and his mama or his grandmama, that I'm telling you, it says a lot. It says a lot. I'm going to hope and I'm going to pray the best for you. Then let's get on to Cat. Cat and Eddie. I had no idea that all of this nonsense was going on between y'all. First of all, Cat, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to drag you, but I'm going to get on you for a second. Cat, put up this picture right here safe not with him you're not safe cat 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 i know that stephanie is your best friend but my whole thing is if stephanie is your best friend then you would keep it real with her about this entire situation and i understand that you and eddie are going through it i get it mama i get it i get it i get it but please do not turn around and be just as dumb as stephanie that man is not stable and i'm not even trying to be funny when i say that that man needs a lot of therapy and i'm saying that with all of the empathy that i can muster up inside of me that man needs therapy he really does he seems to flip off at the handle very easily you don't need to be around that at all neither one of y'all <sighs> cat and eddie so apparently eddie is coming out with a documentary about himself he's t he's coming out with a documentary about his life um things that he went through and stuff like that now apparently within this documentary cat you know a pair you know i guess obviously is brought up um and if you if you guys go on his page there's like a um like a brief like kind of preview and there is a girl that look that's pregnant with a whole bunch of tattoos i guess that's supposed to be cat or something like that but cat has not been for this at 
all she eddie went on his instagram and he did um a video saying how he had showed the documentary to cat um and if y'all want to know the documentary is not out it, it's not out and that that's what that's I'm, I'm gonna go in on at one point right there the fact that it's not even out yet but he showed the whole thing to cat and he said on his instagram that cat was really really upset about it and she didn't like it at all and you know but it was his truth he said that what what he portrayed in the movie is what he wanted from her at the time and how he viewed certain things not to say that she had to do it or it didn't make her any more or less of a woman because she didn't do certain things it was just his mindset at the time and how he viewed certain things and because of because of some because of some of those things and how he perceived certain things cat got really upset about it cat then came out um, I don't really know what order this came out, but I know Kat did go on her Instagram and made it very clear. I'm going to put this up that, you know, she was not in support of the documentary at all. Kat pretty much feels like the documentary is making her look bad. And she said in there that, um, that, uh, she said on her Instagram somewhere that in the documentary is trying to make it seem like she was a neglectful girlfriend and she was always on her phone or she was always you know doing this is that and the third but i also heard eddie in his video on instagram say like i'm not trying to say that you did it right or that you was doing it wrong or i did it right i'm just telling you how i perceive things now this is my whole thing when it comes to documentaries and stuff like that you can only get but so mad about somebody else's perception you get what i'm saying i don't think personally i don't really think that there's anything that eddie can say about cat that will make cat look really bad unless it has something to do with her mistreating their child i don't think there's anything that eddie can say to make cat look bad especially when we know already the situation between them two we know about the fact that you were cheating on her when you were pregnant we know all of this stuff so i don't feel like there's anything that eddie could do to make cat look bad that's just me that's just my personal opinion i really don't um but outside of that you if, if we keep going to stuff like that you know there's different stuff on eddie's talking about you know i'm not trying to hurt her and i'm not gonna put this out you know and, until i get everybody's approval but at the end of the day it's my truth and y'all need to go and watch iyanla iyanla talks about this a lot a lot a whole lot about perception and um our experience of one another you cannot tell me that my experience that how i experienced you is wrong because it's not from your point of view you can feel how you feel but you can't say that i am lying that is my personal point of view my personal point of view how i've seen it how i experienced the situation whether or not it be true that's the thing whether or not it be true it's how i experienced you and i understand cat i get it i get it you don't want to you don't want him to put you off to come off in a really silly light but at the same time cat you're not the only woman who's been through this it's a lot of women so also as women we can see through a lot of bullshit you feel me we can see through a lot of bullshit even if it was the case that you wasn't really paying that man a lot of attention who gives a fuck you had a lot to do you was building your empire you had a fucking child you was pregnant people who are smart can put two and two together and if people who don't want to be smart enough and do their research then that is on them but i hate to see you, you two guys go back and forth they're no longer together but i hate to see you guys go back and forth like this cat just posted something a few minutes like a literally a few minutes ago before i even started to make this thing i'm gonna put it up pretty much saying like there's people in her email saying like you know why can't she get over the fact that she was cheated on and all of this other stuff and she's like it's taking her time understandable but I'm not I'm not really on anybody's side in this situation. I want them to both do what they can do so that they can co-parent effectively for Danera. Oh, that, that little boy is so fucking adorable. Ugh. He's like perfection, literally. So that should be like y'all only focus, only freaking focus. Cat, please stay as far away from this whole M A B situation as please, please, please stay close to, to make sure that your friend is okay but stay far the f away from him you got enough going on in your life right now oh and before i finish i forgot to say this marie you need to mind your business and marie normally i rock with you but in the video that um eddie did he said 
that Marie called. He was like, Marie called me outside my name. And then I'm like, oh, Marie called you outside your name. And then I look it up or whatever. And why you posted this? I understand that that is your friend. And he also said that Stephanie was doing a lot. We all know that Stephanie was always doing a lot. But Stephanie, do you really want us to go in on you and your new boo? Let's not really fucking go there. But the point of the matter is, Marie, you need to mind your business. Don't you got a wedding that you need to plan? Worry about that and don't worry. Don't mind your business. Just like how you said, this is the thing that kills me. Just like how you said that what's the name was wrong, that Stephanie was wrong for approaching Eddie the way she did at her job, you're wrong too. Stay in your lane and mind your fucking business. It's none of your business. Point blank, period. Let them two handle it. It's about them too. Okay? But I can't sit up here and tell Eddie that he's wrong for wanting to speak his truth. Whether or not that's the way that you remember it, Kat, that is his truth y'all need to i promise y'all y'all really need to watch some iyanla people we cannot get mad about how other people experienced us we just can't we we, we really really can't and it and, and it kind of reminds me sort of of like this happens all the time for instance with the whole little kim situation right with the whole notorious movie and the reason why little kim had a problem is because she didn't like the way that she was portrayed in the movie she felt like there was a lot of lies now do i think they probably i think she said they didn't really ask for her input should they should they have asked for her input yes but at the same time kim that's how a lot of people experienced you and viewed the situation you can't tell people how they experienced you that's the whole point of this video I'm out. If anything else happens, I will come back and I will put it in. But y'all got a lot going on. Y'all need to clean that up. Clean it up. And Eddie, I would love to see your documentary. It seems like it'll be amazing. Any more tea, y'all? Like I said, I'll put it in underneath the bar. Y'all let me know what y'all think.